A funeral scheduled for this afternoon in Coleman County is put on hold after shots are fired inside this funeral home this morning. Now we know two people were shot inside and police have a suspect in custody. And that man we have learned is a family member. The Coleman County Sheriff's Office identified him as Ori McDearmond. He now is charged with attempted murder. ABC 3340's Valerie Bell is in Coleman County this evening. Valerie, investigators say all of this happened in the hours just before the family was to come together for a funeral. It did pan. The sheriff says some type of argument broke out between family members. As you can see, there's still police tape up all around the building. As you can imagine, people here are shaken and upset. The sound of gunfire rang out around 10 Monday morning at Coleman Funeral Home. These photos show bullet holes in the wall and carpet. This was a family matter and that the victims were family members who were here attending a service. Two people were shot, but we're told they're expected to be OK. Anytime a family has tragedy and then you add tragedy on top of that, I would ask that you pray for this family and what they're dealing with right now. I would just echo what the sheriff said, that the suspect is in custody, the community is safe, and there will be a legal process going forward, and we'll have more to say about that as we go forward. The accused shooter, Ori McDearmond, was arrested in the parking lot. When we have a shooting incident, it's typically all hands on deck for us. Everybody's going, so I was very proud of the deputies and the quick response, and I believe that it prevented any future incidents that could have happened. Sheriff Matt Gentry says county deputies and Coleman police officers arrived quickly. I'm thankful. You know, uh, it's good that the that they got stopped before he done any really major harm to someone. Anthony Vincent owns the business next door. It's a little shocking because the people that run that place are absolutely wonderful and you wouldn't expect anything like that. We've already spoke to the owners of the of the funeral home, the employees, and our victim service deputy at the sheriff's office will also be reaching out to them to offer assistance. Now the investigation is ongoing. The funeral home tells me they hope in, they hope to be back open tomorrow. Live in Coleman County, Valerie Bell, ABC 3340 News.